We had the baby. Yep. And we're tired. <laughs> <laughs> all right so this is our damn why this shit ain't catching on baga baga booga all right so this is our our eighth day look at all this breast milk golly we supposed to been upload the video two days ago but obviously it's a lot going on so the portable bottom warmer tells you the temperature at the bottom there we're just waiting on 98 degrees and then we'll be good mommy Say together, say we're back. Okay, ready? One, two, three. We're, we're back. back. <laughs> so we are on week one with a newborn, and yeah. it's already wild. But it's so amazing. It's so exciting. We're finally here, you know, like with a little one. Yep. A lot of uh, like I said, it, ha it happened so fast. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. yeah, we haven't got to like fully process all the new challenges that we're facing, like dealing with this one and this one at the same time, especially with their age gaps because they both require obviously two whole different needs yep. of attention, but. Overall, like I think we're handling it very well, especially compared to when he was a newborn. It was, it was dramatic. <laughs> yeah, I will say this: this go around is a little easier because we know what we're doing uh, this time, so it's not as bad. I mean, we're still not getting sleep. Right now, we're waking up like three times a night, like every two or three hours. Mm -hmm. it ain't too bad. I guess it could be worse, mm -hmm. but yeah, that's the current the current sleeping situation right now. So the rundown, my water broke at 38 weeks pregnant, literally three days before my parents were supposed to come to be able to watch a bride for when the baby arrived. And I was in denial. I said, no, you know what? I don't think so. Cause my contractions didn't kick in. And I was usually when, when my water broke last time, my contractions kicked in like right away. Like I knew I was in labor. This time I thought it was just, oh, you know, maybe it was just my mucus plug. And then I'm just waiting for my water to actually break. And so I was in denial. I I stood home for a few hours and and whatnot, but then I real I started to get concerned. Like the baby wasn't moving much, and I don't know. I just had a nervous intuition of, well, what if it was and I didn't go? So we decided to go to the hospital right then and there to go get checked. And the nurses and doctors were going back and forth, and then like. What you think? It was like hours? It felt like hours. Like at least three From hours. What? Since when? Since I was at the hospital? No, we got there like at 6 p.m. And then I would say like around like 8 p.m. That's when. Mm -hmm. No, we got there at 6 p.m. Around like 7.30. It was like, okay, your water it actually did break. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. And then me and Bryce is up there like at 8. Yeah. And so then we were like, oh, snap. So it's happening. And then they were concerned because I waited so long because my water broke that morning at 8 a.m. They were like, oh, it's been like almost 12 hours and it can be, that can cause issues, especially since you haven't been having contractions and all this other stuff. And thankfully everything went well. So while I'm getting situated at the hospital and realizing I'm going into labor, Boris and Bryce are trying to get their lives together because they were waiting for my mom to arrive at the airport so my mom could watch Bryce so he could be there at the at the delivery her mom got here at 10 p.m drive home had to go what feed the dog let the dog out then drive to the airport mm -hmm. then drive back home and then go back to the hospital and i think i did all that in like two hours two hours so yeah and the whole time i was going you know uh, she kept texting me and calling yeah. afraid that she's gonna give birth while i while i wasn't there because i started to feel pressure you know like i started feeling the con i started finally feeling the contractions and they were kicking Mm -hmm. They were hitting, and I was like, oh my gosh. No one likes the hospital in general, let alone yeah. by yourself. So it was just like giving me anxiety, and I was freaking out. Nine o'clock the next morning, on the dot, mm -hmm. little man came out. Yep. Yep, I pushed him out in three minutes, and it was awesome. It was awesome. It was very, very good. Now we're a week in, and we're just trying to adjust trying to adjust on both handling both kids and 
trying to make sure they both get the attention they deserve and need. And I really want to go. Go where? Go to the store by myself. I have to go out my car by myself. And you want to go to places by yourself? Yeah, by myself. And I drive my car by myself. And drive your car by yourself. Yeah, I drive my car by myself. Oh, so now you just think you've really grown. Yeah, but I need to read my own daddy. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, you say you leave mommy and daddy? Yeah, I leave my own daddy. I need to drive my car to get the road. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> you were trying to leave the house. That's crazy. Alright, I think that's it. Go ahead, tell the camera goodbye. Uh, goodbye. Mm. Okay, here. Alright, thank you.